Abraham Lincoln once said, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. For those who knew the life story of Douglas Michael Hamilton, who was inducted posthumously into the Greensboro College Athletics Hall of Fame on April 14, 2007, no quote could be more fitting in capturing the journey of this extraordinary individual who died suddenly at age 43 in March 2006. Doug Hamilton's remarkable story as an athlete and future coach began in his hometown of Hazlitt, New Jersey, where he excelled as a soccer player for Raritan High School and for the Wall Soccer Club. He came south to play for the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, where he helped lead the Spartans to NCAA Division III National Championships twice, the first as a freshman and again as a senior captain. His reputation as a fierce competitor with a blue-collar work ethic and a knack for creating positive results made Hamilton a natural prospect for coaching the game of which he was so passionate. Well, Dougie and I played together in Jersey with the Wall Adams, and, uh, and I obviously came to school down here at UNC Greensboro together. And uh, the one thing that I'll always remember with Doug was he was always the, the magnet. You know, he brought people together. Uh, he did it with me when I first joined the club team because I was the new kid on the block. And uh, he immediately made me and the others feel like we were immediately a part of the team. So he was engaging and funny and you know everyone was just naturally attracted to it. But I always said Doug's greatest strength was his, uh, his leadership. You know, he was the captain of that, I believe, the 85 team that won the national championship. And I know he was the leader in the back. He reminded me of a little young Coach Bercelli at the time. He was fully committed. He was strengthened by his knowledge business now. And plus, he always was a natural when it came to personalities and dealing with people. And H was probably one of the funniest guys that I've ever been around in regards to whether you're with him on your own or with the team because he was the one to make everybody laugh. You know, as, as Rico used to say, whether it was the Doug with the perm, without the perm, the earring, without the earring, the Bible, without the Bible, um, you know, the long shorts, the short shorts. I mean, it's a, he's like a, you know, walking through the decades, a picture of the times, and uh, he wasn't afraid to flaunt it or to show it. You know, I, I feel so fortunate and blessed to had the opportunity to have been around him for so long. And uh, one nice thing I've always heard is you never think about it until something like this happens to somebody, but what kind of person are they or what kind of impact did they make in this world? And I always thought that it's the impression and the impact you have on others. And you know, now that time has passed, you really see that with Doug. He really he impacted people. and. I think God's very pleased with him. After brief stints as an assistant men's soccer coach at UNCG and Duke University, Hamilton joined the soccer staff at Greensboro College in 1986, where the soccer program had experienced only three winning seasons in 13 years and a .22 winning percentage. Late in the summer of 1987, Hamilton was promoted to head coach where he began to assert his leadership style and subsequently lead the Hornets to a 500 season. The table was now set for a remarkable three-year odyssey in which Hamilton's teams won over 75 percent of their games and captured its first ever Dixie Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Championship. In the middle of that incredible run, the 1989 season, the Hamilton-led Hornets established the path to success that took the athletics department and indeed the college by storm. Following an emotional and highly charged DIAC tournament championship win over Methodist College in Fayetteville, the Hornets had consecutive two to nothing NCAA victories over Emory University, Mary Washington College, and Rochester Institute of Technology before losing by an identical score to host Elizabethtown College in the national title game. In an eye-popping 20-4 and four season, the Hornets reflected and emulated the Hamilton grit and toughness in recording a school record 18 shutouts. The 1989 squad was inducted into the Greensboro College Athletics Hall of Fame October 27, 2000. Doug Hamilton's success on the sidelines and his incessant drive to tackle new challenges 
provided a springboard to his climb up the corporate ladder with Adidas. During his six years with the company that included being named Director of Sports Marketing in Latin America, he earned recognition from Adidas International and Adidas America by winning the Global as well as Soccer Business Unit of the Year awards. He left Adidas to become a consultant for the Major League Soccer Miami Fusion, a position that quickly transitioned into becoming the club's general manager. When the MLS disbanded the Fusion in 2002, in spite of major improvements in on-field performance and attendance, the Los Angeles Galaxy and the Anschutz Entertainment Group moved swiftly to appoint Hamilton president and general manager of their underachieving franchise. Just as he catapulted Greensboro College's soccer program as a young coach bullish on excellence and extraordinary achievement, Hamilton led the Galaxy to the upper echelon of Major League Soccer. He captured three consecutive MLS Soccer Executive of the Year awards. Under his direction, the Galaxy won its first MLS Cup and U.S. Open Cup in 2005. Shortly after his death, the soccer community recognized Hamilton in many ways, including renaming the MLS Executive of the Year award in his honor. He was also inducted into the North Carolina Soccer Hall of Fame in January 2007. Additionally, U.S. Club Soccer renamed its national trophy as the Doug Hamilton Cup. In fall 2007, the inaugural Doug Hamilton Memorial Soccer Tournament was established by Greensboro College Men's Soccer. This showcase event annually serves as a tribute to this extraordinary coach and human being, Douglas Michael Hamilton.